Hello everyone, this is Eugene Blind and this is my Europe Universalis 4 strategy guide for Ottomans. As for me, Ottomans are, is one of the most imbalanced nations in Europe and in this guide I'll try to tell you why. Uh, first and foremost, we should look on the Ottoman uh, ideas, national ideas. Uh, so here we see that you will uh, on your f uh, with your first idea you will have the lower coring cost uh, and it will be reduced by 33 percent so it will help you to save a lot of uh, admin points here and your future all your uh, conquests will be uh, much easier so the next two ideas are about war the next three ideas I'm sorry uh, the you will have uh, more manpower your cover will be much stronger and uh, if something will go wrong you will be able to reduce your war extortion with a little discount. Next two ideas are about economy so when you already conquered some provinces th uh, these ideas will help you to make uh, a bit more money from them. And finally to dominate uh, on, uh, on the sea you will be able to build your ships also with uh, some discount. Speaking about traditions and ambitions of the Ottomans, they are also quite nice. Uh, so from the start you have the uh, plus 5% uh, of discipline, so your forces will be stronger, and uh, the uh, plus 3 tolerance of heavens. Uh, so uh, to remind you, the Ottomans just from the start uh, have a lot of uh, Orthodox provinces, the Christian provinces, and uh, this tradition helps uh, them to deal with them. And finally, as an ambition, you will be granted uh, increased uh, land force limit modifier, so you will have uh, more, you will be able to hire more land forces. Uh, to summarize, uh, so Ottomans have all ideas needed for quick and easy conquest of their neighbor. Yes, and uh, if we will speak uh, what uh, IG groups can uh, improve their national ideas. Uh, if we speak about administ administrative ideas, uh, first, of course, uh, you need to choose uh, between uh, religion ideas and humanism ideas. Uh, because, as I already said, you will face uh, the uh, other religions and you just need to do something with them. So, uh, but as for me, the humanism ideas are far more better because uh, they just uh, help you to deal with uh, another religion, with this idea and with this one, but also they will help you to deal with just newly conquered provinces because of uh, this idea, so the national ideas will be lower already and uh, uh, years of uh, separatism will be also lower so the unrest will be reduced much faster in newly conquered provinces and yes as bonus also uh, you will have the ability to promote two more cultures and you will have the idea cost uh, reduction uh, al mm, also speaking about the promoted uh, cultures uh, Ottomans, when you will take the mission to conquer the Constantinople, this one, uh, after conquering it, you will be, your country will become an empire. So that will mean that all the cultures of your cultural group, so All these cultures, Egyptian, Syrian, uh, Bedouin, and so, all these cultures will be accepted. So they will uh, provide you with no uh, negative bonuses. Uh, so it is. Uh, it is also uh, one aspect why Ottomans are really, really strong. So if we we'll, uh, continue our discussion about the ideas, so the. Uh, also, uh, economy ideas, 
can be suitable if it uh, they will boost your economy or you may take uh, for example an administrative um, uh, idea mostly because of this one it will also decrease the current costs uh, for you as, as we as we remember you will already have the minus 33 percent and you will be able to have extra 25 percent and if we will and if you have claims on provinces you would like to con uh, conquer so claims are also reduces the current costs so you will spend just few admin points not really few it depends on the province but nevertheless far more uh, less uh, admin points on conquering new provinces so you will be able uh, to take just some huge number of provinces and spend just some little admin points on them uh, if we speak about diplomatic ideas uh, here it is not so difficult to choose as for me uh, you, you have the ability to choose between diplomatic ideas trade ideas and influence ideas if trade is not uh, crucial for you if uh, in the mid game you will understand if it is uh, necessary for you or not so if you will combine diplomatic ideas and influence ideas for Ottomans so it will help you to deal easy easy deal with uh, your vassals influence ideas will help you uh, here and uh, also they will uh, help your conquest also much easier due to province wars co cost uh, discount uh, your aggressive expansion will be uh, will reduce much faster with this one and if you take the humanism ideas this, uh, this one yes uh, and also you will be uh, you will uh, take the aggressive function uh, far more or less and if we'll speak about the military ideas uh, it's in my opinion it's uh, the hardest choice because all of them are good for Ottomans it's just all will depend on your gameplay if you have uh, uh, just uh, hordes of units, quantity. It's good the uh, Ottomans, they, it will also increase the manp your manpower, the, your manpower recovery speed. So you will have just a huge number of uh, manpower and you will be able to reduce it, to recover it uh, really fast. And all hours, oh, you may just uh, think that it's already enough manpower for you and you will just to improve your soldiers uh, to make them more powerful with offensive defensive quality ideas so uh, so it's all up to you what to choose maybe defensive ideas are also uh, just a bit uh, better variant for ottomans because of the uh, moral uh, increase of armies because uh, due to your religion uh, you will uh, if you are being pity of high pity you will also grant an extra moral of armies so it in my opinion it's really good and uh, also mm, it will reduce uh, land attraction and you need to fight a lot in will need to fight a lot in mountains in deserts so it will be uh, really good also uh, yes a uh, land maintenance modifier so it will help you to spend less money on your huge armies really good so I think uh, this one is uh, must to take but also uh, as I already said it's all up to you so and uh, another main point why I think the Ottomans are the imbalanced nation is because of the um, possibility to grow really really fast if you will see on our nearest neighbors so we will see here the Ottoman miners all they have uh, your core provinces so this uh, if you conquer these provinces you will spend no none 
uh, admin points on them. It's already your course. So, and uh, that's why you can um, declare war on them just from the start, not from the start, just uh, after one month, but nonetheless. Uh, so they will surely have uh, no strong uh, allies, often they ally each other, so they it will be an easy target for you and we will you will be boosted really quickly to these provinces so just you will get some extra provinces which are no need to be converted with which are of your or of your culture and they are your course so it's really it will be really good uh, so if we speak about other your neighbors so the byzantine empire byzantium uh, it's your also one of your first targets because uh, as I already said if you will conquer the Constantinople you will be granted an empire rank and it will give you a lot of bonuses and also it's an easy target well, sometimes it is uh, the Byzantine Empire is allied with some of the other your neighbor closest neighbors Wallachia, Serbia, Albania or some others so just uh, it's uh, just a uh, will be a bonus to you in this war so you will conquer uh, some other provinces and uh, if not nevertheless uh, all these countries also are your first goal targets because they are often have no strong allies and uh, they're really easy targets for conquering uh, after you conquered all the minas around you Oh yeah, and I forgot about the Trebizond and Akkuyugu. Uh, they also often have no strong allies, so they also should be conquered really fast. After this, you will all you will face some stronger uh, rivals. Or uh, uh, first of all, yes, it's the Mamluks. Uh, it's your in the early stages of the game it's your main rival because uh, you will uh, it will be uh, why Manus should be conquered first because of the provinces so when you will become an empire the culture will be accepted for you also they have the same religion as you so you will uh, need to sp uh, do how to do less actions with them so you need, you need uh, to convert uh, them and so on. So they will give you a bonus much sooner. Uh, also here in the east, uh, the another your uh, closest uh, rival will be Karakuyu. Not really strong uh, rival. Oh, the, on the east you will have really no strong rivals. In one on one, Ottomans can beat everyone here. So after conquering them, you will face the Timurids. Yes, they look like a really strong uh, rival, they have a lot of bronzes, but uh, they have really uh, uh, serious inside problems with rebels and most likely when you will border them, they may be, be already divided into several states, such as Persia and so on. Persia is one of the best examples. So, mm, after you finished with uh, Mamluks and uh, Timurids, so all the rest in the East are just easy game. Uh, here, the, uh, the Arabia, here there are no powers which can th uh, do any harm to the Ottomans. Africa, also just some miners. Um, India, yeah, there will be maybe some problems because uh, when you will border them, there already will be some strong uh, countries here, and most likely they will be ally each other. So just use the rule divide and rule, and it will be easier. Yeah, and uh, I also forget about the step holders here. Also, when you will border them, there will already be no match for you. Uh, it will be really easy then also the problem may be that they are allied each other just choose the weakest one and 
uh, start your conquer. Uh, Crimea, the, uh, there is an event in which uh, it uh, can become your vassal, not vassal, but your mark. So you will even have, uh, you should, you shouldn't even uh, go into wars with Crimea. So the main problems you will face in Europe, of course, because the most uh, powerful countries are here. Uh, that's why it will be advisable for you to ally with at least one strong European power. As for me, France is the uh, best choice here, because it is, in some cases, it is far from you, so it will be... Uh, you, you are not going to uh, share some provinces that you both want to conquer. So they will expand in Europe, most likely you will expand in Africa, maybe in Italy, in Balkans, so it won't, uh, it sh must not be a problem to you, uh, um, on you, to have any problems on your relations with France. And at the same time they will help you to uh, fight with uh, Spain in future, so Spain it is one of your main rivals, uh, and also with Austria. So, most likely Austria and Castile will rival France, so it is, will be the best uh, for you. Uh, as another possible option for you to ally is Poland. But uh, only in, in the case that you are not going to expand in their lands. So, it's up to you to decide. Yes, they are just close to you, so we will surely uh, help you to fight uh, with your uh, neighbors, Hungary for example, but you shouldn't forget that sooner or later uh, if uh, Poland will uh, have a personal union with Lithuania, they will uh, construct the Commonwealth and it's really unpredictable what the policy of this new country will be, so it's up to you. Uh, and. Uh, Speaking about your first goals, here's, as I already said, it's Hungary. Uh, the problem is maybe if uh, it is allied with Austria, and Austria is uh, an emperor, for at least for the first period. So you should check for uh, some other allies of Hungary which you can declare a war and just to drag them in it. Also one of the possible option options is uh, Naples, it, uh, Naples is uh, uh, Aragon leads a person uh, union on Naples, so you will also have to fight with Aragon and his allies, and uh, that's why I strongly recommend you to do this only when you have a real strong navy, or at least the possibility to just to transport your forces fast uh, into Italy, capture all uh, all provinces here and just all ready to make some peace good peace deal for you uh, so uh, also um, to your rivals will be the trade republics Venetia and Genoa so they already uh, Venetia already has uh, some provinces close to you is on their own provinces and provinces of their vassals Corfu Naxos um, and Genoa have uh, some islands close to you and also have provinces in the Crimea region. So, sooner or later you will want to take all these provinces. Uh, the knights, uh, I don't think that uh, should be even uh, mentioned, uh, only in the case that uh, they... Um, yeah, the um, Venice is... Uh, as a guarantee of their independence, so it can be an easy way to track Venice into a world of you. Uh, what's to say? Also, yes, uh, the countries of the Maghrib, uh, Maghribia, uh, yes, they are also an easy target for you when you will border them, they will know much for you. So, the, as for me, it is a uh, really will be really enough for you to know wh why how to rule all the Ottomans in the first periods of the game uh, so I hope uh, this uh, 
guide will uh, was uh, useful for you so you now know the main uh, strengths of ottomans <laughs> really really have uh, just i think no weaknesses so you need just to uh, provide your country with a good uh, policy uh, external policy just not to uh, ma uh, make some uh, uh, coalitions against you constructed and uh, if uh, this will be matched you will have no problems playing the ottomans oh yeah uh, i have forget it about uh, also your main rival muscovy uh, how can I forget about that uh, yes uh, sooner or later when you will conquer the step hordes you will face the muscovy so here is uh, strongly uh, the main recommendation is just not to let them go into Siberia. If you will let them go here, they will be really powerful and it will take you much more forces, money and so on, resources to deal them, just to deal them. So just not let this happen. And uh, uh, all, uh, in all in all these regions I think you will have no problems just to uh, eliminate all your enemies one by one and this will be quite as far as I think it will be really easy for you so thanks you for your attention hope it uh, hope this guide will be useful for you and hope to hear you uh, to see you on